Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to type math expressions in Word using the equation editor. There are a few ways that you can type this expression 12x to the 5th over 3x to the 4th. We start with selecting insert. I'm going to hit equation and then I start typing 12x and I'm going to hit the shift and 6. So see how it puts in this what I would call a caret and I'm going to put 5. When I push space, it becomes an exponent without that caret anymore. Then I'm going to hit divide and I'm going to do the same thing with the 3. I type 3x, I hit the caret, I hit 4, I hit space, and then I'm going to hit space again. So the first space took that x caret 4 and turned it into x to the fourth. The second space I hit now turns it into a fraction. So space is really an important key that tells it that you're finished with what you're typing in and you want it to convert it into your math. I will show you another way to do it. It will feel a little bit longer, so I don't know that this would be my preferred method, but it's nice to show you multiple methods. So I'm going to hit insert, equation, and this time I'm going to start with a fraction. So this is telling Word that I will be typing a fraction. And I'm going to click into the top box so I can start putting in this 12x to the fifth. So I'm going to type 12. And then this time, I'm going to click back into the equation editor. I'm going to click on this e to the x. And this is where it holds the subscripts and the superscripts. So this is a superscript because we're going up. So I'm going to hit this superscript. And again, it puts in a couple boxes. So the bottom box, I put in the x. The top box, I put in my power 5. Then I'm going to go down. Same kind of thing, I'm going to type in 3, I'm going to go back to that e to the x, I'm going to hit that superscript, and then I go into the boxes and I type what I want, which is x to the fourth. So that way is a little bit longer. I do think I prefer just typing and not having to hit all of those superscript and fraction buttons, but there are times when you're going to find it's really necessary to do both. So let's try that again. I made this a little bit bigger. I have 4x to the fifth times 9x squared over 7x cubed. I start, I hit insert, I hit equation. I'll start typing 4x to the power 5, push the space bar, and then to get that little dot that stands for multiplication, I'm going up here in the toolbar to these two rows, and I'm going to hit the arrow down, and you can see there's this little dot that stands for multiplication. So I'm going to hit that dot, and now I'm going to do 9x to the power 2, hit the space bar. Now watch what happens this time. I hit divide by. I'm going to do 7x to the power 3, and I hit space and I hit space again, and look what happened. It only divided the 9x squared by the 7x cubed, which is not what I want it to look like. So this is where we see there's a few extra things you need to do. So what I would do, and I'm just gonna start over to show you, if I had started with a parenthesis, 4x to the power five, space bar, hit my multiplication key, and then I say 9x to the power two, space bar, I'm going to close the parenthesis, divide by 7x cubed, space bar, and space again. This time, it put it all together. So we have this extra little thing we wanted to do, which was just putting parentheses around this 4x to the fifth times 9x squared to tell Word that those two things go together and they belong in the numerator. If you think you'll forget that, it's okay, not a big deal. You could go back to insert. You can hit equation, and then this time, let's hit the fraction key to start. And then in the top, I can put 4x to the fifth. There's my times, so let me click that down. And then I have my 9x squared. And then in the denominator, divide by 7x cubed. So if you think you're going to forget about putting the parentheses around the 4x to the 5th times 9x squared, you could just start with using a fraction. Other things that come along that you're not really sure where the symbol is, just keep going back to that insert equation. And you'll find that some things that are really common are over on the right side on the toolbar. So don't feel afraid to kind of click around and see where things are. And then the most common kind of um, operators that we have will show up in these rows. And then you can click down to see more of them. 